Hello, I'm Juanita Stevenson. Welcome to Zero to Five in 30 Minutes. We begin with a look at multiple births. The risk of complications is higher for a woman having twins, triplets, or more, but there are ways she can improve the chances that her babies will be born healthy. Irma Rangel is eight months pregnant and expecting twins. This singer mom of four is looking forward to the addition of two little ones to her brood. Uh, we're pretty excited. I think the um, it's just getting over the pregnancy and, and making sure everything's going to go well, but we're very excited. We're very happy. Because she is having twins, Irma was referred to Dr. Douglas Helm. He's a perinatologist, an obstetrician who specializes in caring for patients with high-risk pregnancies. Well, all multiples are at higher risk, so anything more than one is at higher risk for complications. The biggest complication is prematurity. The more babies you have, the earlier they tend to come. So uh, preterm labor is a big consideration in someone that has more than one baby. Premature babies are at risk of serious health problems, as well as lasting disabilities and death. In general, we worry about you know, uh, uh, chronic conditions, uh, lung problems from being on a ventilator, for example, for an extended period of time. Uh, but prematurity can also be just something simple as uh, bilirubin levels that are elevated or a baby that doesn't feed well because it's not quite mature enough for that. There is also risk of low birth rate. Another common complication with identical twins, sharing of the placenta. To give you a little background, identical twins develop when a single fertilized egg splits and develops into two fetuses, so identical twins may share a placenta. One of the biggest concerns or one of the things that, that the doctor looks at is making sure because they're identical twins sharing the same placenta, the same breathing wall, is that, um, that they grow at the same rate, that one of them is not taking away the oxygen from the other. So that's why the ultrasounds are really important and to be measuring the baby's weight and the baby's size uh, because that tells them that they're growing at the same pace and not taking one from the other. So that's really important. There can also be complications for mom. They can include preeclampsia and gestational diabetes. The good news is there are a number of steps a pregnant woman and her health care provider can take to help improve the chances that our babies will be born healthy. Prenatal care is the best thing that we can do to fight the complications of pregnancy. And that's true if it's a single baby or two or three or whatever. Uh, good early prenatal care, there's no substitute whatsoever. Because after all, we can't do anything special to help a twin pregnancy if we don't even know the lady's pregnant with twins. Bed rest may be prescribed if you're carrying twins or more or are otherwise at risk of preterm labor. Women who are expecting multiples generally need to visit their health care providers more frequently than women expecting one baby. Irma has a weekly appointment. These extra visits can include special tests to help prevent detect, and treat any complications that develop. As a general rule, patients are much more likely to tell you something, even if, it's, even if they're not sure it's important if they're sitting right in front of you than if they have to call from home. So as a rule that when somebody has a more complicated pregnancy, the doctor ends up seeing them more often. Eight months into her pregnancy, Dr. Helm says Irma is on track to give birth to a couple of healthy little girls. Well, at this time, I think she's doing great. She's got a set of identical twins, and everything looks like it's going so far so good. And what we can do is keep a close eye on her, uh, keep a close eye on the babies, and hopefully things will continue to do well, and she's going to have two healthy kids near the due date. Irma is taking great pains to keep it that way and considering one more important baby-related task, naming the babies. We have uh, Catalina picked out for one, and my four-year-old is determined the second name's going to be Shakira, and I'm determined that it's not. <laughs> so we're struggling with that. <laughs> 
That interview was taped in April, so we have an update from Irma. She gave birth to Catalina and Isabel on May 23rd. The doctor said they were full term, born just 12 days before the original due date. Mom and both baby girls are in good health. Congratulations. For more information on multiple births, visit our website. Just go to Valley PBS and click on 0 to 5 in 30 minutes. This program funded in part by First Five Fresno County. At First Five, we focus on the first five years of life. We fund programs and services that better the lives of children in Fresno County. Additional funding from First Five Tulare County. Changing lives and building futures. Because it's all about the kids.